back to Side Note Suplex. The third hour of AEW programming has finally been announced. It's articles out of Fightful.com. In the two years that it has existed, AEW has quickly grown from an upstart to an emerging juggernaut in the pro wrestling space. In addition to their flagship television series, AEW Dynamite, their two YouTube series, AEW Dark and AEW Dark Elevation, have continued to provide a platform for new superstars to shine. Now their brand is going to grow even more with the announcement of an additional hour of programming on TNT. AEW Rampage will begin on Friday, August 13th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This immediately follows Friday Night Smackdown. In addition to that, TNT will also host quarterly Supercard events. And this is the official statement from AEW. The All Elite Wrestling franchise will grow its footprint with a move of AEW Dynamite to TBS in January of 2022. Until then, presence on TNT remains robust in 2021 with the addition of the new hour-long series, AEW Rampage. Debuting on August 13th at 10 p.m., AEW Rampage is a third hour of high-octane wrestling featuring the world-renowned stars of AEW. In addition, TNT will debut four new professional wrestling specials annually, continuing to garner and grow AEW's audience until the move to TBS in 2022. In addition to being wrestling's most watched show, AEW Dynamite was the number one program on Wednesday, May 5th on cable among the 18 to 49 viewing audience, a first time triumph for the wrestling franchise. In April, the electrifying wrestling show achieved its most watched episode since the series launched on October 2nd, 2019, with over 1.2 million viewers tuning in. Dynamite, which will move to TBS in 2022, recently celebrated being the number one show on cable during their Big Blood and Guts show. Previously, Tony Khan said he was considering the FTW Championship becoming the staple of the third hour on TNT. Now, the TNT and TBS general manager confirms the NHL deal played a part in AEW Dynamite's move. This article is out of Fightful as well. On April 27th, the NHL and Turner officially announced a seven-year media rights agreement that will see regular season Stanley Cup playoff and Stanley Cup final games televised on TNT and TBS. The deal is set to begin in the 21-22 season. Fans wondered how the deal might impact AEW and on Wednesday, May 19th, they found out as it was announced that AEW Dynamite would move to TBS beginning in January of 2022. Speaking to the New York Post, Brett Wheats, general manager of TBS, TNT, and True TV, discussed AEW's move and how the NHL deal played a role in their decision. Quote, Both TBS and TNT have an incredibly storied history with wrestling, so the idea of us being able to put more AEW onto TBS is a natural fit, he said. Did the NHL have anything to do with it? Sure. NHL had something to do with it. NBA had something to do with it. When we looked where the consumer's gonna be, where wrestling fans were going to be. We want to give them the most opportunity to consume as many shows as possible. We felt TBS had an opportunity to be the network and the best platform for expansion. After the NHL deal with Turner was signed, AEW President Tony Khan stated, it would have been a good deal for AEW if they were to move. Not only will AEW Dynamite be moving, but AEW will add a third hour of programming beginning on August 13th with AEW Rampage. Tony Khan spoke about the NHL deal on Busted Open Radio, and he stated, I know Wednesday night is our slot in our home. I'm thrilled with our partnership with TNT. It's the lifeblood of our company and our primary revenue source. It's the way most fans get exposed to AEW and see our show. Every Wednesday that we do Dynamite, for a lot of wrestling fans, it's a really important night of the week. If there was ever an opportunity to move or a deal to be had, I would consider it. If we did something, it would have to be a really good deal for AEW. It makes sense for us. As it stands now, that is the spot we're in. If we move, I would certainly consider a deal if there was something in it for AEW. So things continue to look up for AEW. AEW continues to grow their business and continues in their own wrestling lane, being the alternative to WWE, as they should continue to be and analyze what WWE is not doing in order to better provide for the alternative. And with that big channel exposure, AEW has a unique opportunity to get in front of the eyes of the casual fan weekly 
which could in turn help pro wrestling out as a whole. Again, the Attitude Era had a strong casual fan viewership, so that's something to always be reminded. Can we get it back to those levels? Revenue streams growing. Looks like AEW's here to stay and here to play like I've said before. Here's to hoping though they keep focus on the product and make it desirable for not only wrestling fans, but also the casual fans. So business can keep growing and in turn continuing helping the art and sport of professional wrestling. Let us know how you feel in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more from Side Note Suplex. Thank you.